नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन दिस कॉम्बिनेशन कॉल्ड एज द गुरु चंडाल योगा लाइक द कंजंक्शन ऑफ जुपिटर एंड राहू इन समवंस नेटल चार्ट जस्ट बिकॉज गाइस वेरी सून वंस जुपिटर विल ट्रांजिट टू द साइन ऑफ एरीज इट इज गोइंग टू गेट कंजंक विद राहू देयर इज गोइंग टू बी दिस सो कॉल्ड गुरु चंडाल योगा व्हिच इज गोइंग टू गेट फॉर्मड इन द ट्रांजिट सो a lot many astrologers have already started uploading and talking about this yoga a lot many people are curious some of them are scared and this is the kind of queries which i get on my uh, community section on the comments or whether the kind of uh, queries people are like raising when they book their consultation with me so i just thought that even after like having separate discussion on this topic as we are heading close to it so some of the more information which i can share based is my own personal experience let me do it in another video so guys as you know that like see uh, whenever i have some uh, of my own personal life experiences to share so i always remain very transparent in order to bring that out in the topics on which i am talking because nothing is more stronger than your own personal life your own experienced events so guys as you know that in my case as well i have got my moon nakshatra as sat bisha so that means the first dasha of my life was of rahu now see where rahu is placed in my chart my rahu is placed in the first house in the aries yes you got it right i am already in the rahu and ketu return and the lord of the aries uh, which is planet mars it is placed in the 8th house very much strengthened over there now imagine someone who has started his life with planets which are active are the first house and the 8th house and i still remember like uh, you know like now my mom sh uh, like share all those um, uh, events and uh, the kind of um, problems which i used to give when i was still a toddler like a lot many times i used to uh, start crying without any good reason and more than the medicine it just like that if you put a tikka on my forehead uh, my health will suddenly uh, like get fixed and what do you call that so called uh, getting an eye evil eye so all those were the major issues and concerns which i faced because of the influence of rahu and that is the only reason guys like even um, like it's not only that the medical facility uh, is not as good in different parts of the world if you will compare it with the like let's say the advanced countries like even over here like i keep on getting this uh, query in my consultation people who are living in the in the europe in the scandinavian countries even in canada there's a friend of mine she was uh, repeatedly missing the classes when i was going through my film course and everyone in our batch was curious that okay what exactly is wrong with you and she is like i do not know uh, even after getting all the test nothing is getting diagnosed and when i got a chance to look at her chart she was going through the rahu mahadasha and that time it was the antardasha of moon as well so yes guys this is what the energies of rahu represent guys when we talk about the intuitive aspect of the rahu so i would say that rahu has got more to do with giving you insight of some sort of negative events which might be happening uh, in times to come like the way even if you will go by the uh, mythology connection of the notes like swar bhanu demon whose head was severed by the lord vishnu in the mohini form and uh, the head part became rahu and the tail part became ketu but even if you will go a little bit uh, back in the same story so at the time when the demons and the gods they were churning up the ocean to get the nectar to get the amrit so even during at that point of time it's the demons who were holding the head part of the snake because of which when the poison came so demons uh, actually were the one who initially got first affected because of that but guys the point which i'm trying to say over here is that uh, because of the tail part of the snake which was being uh, controlled and which was held by the uh, gods so ketu has got all the divine and spiritual a uh, potential and qualities attached to it when it comes down to rahu definitely rahu has got lot many good things to offer to us to get success in the material world but when we talk about the faith or when we talk about being righteous in the society so that is the one thing which rahu cannot offer you like the way guys we say this thing that only if you will protect uh, your dharma your faith 
dharma and faith will protect you so this is one thing which is going to get very strongly applicable once this conjunction is going to take place guys uh, when we talk about the conjunction of rahu and um, like jupiter uh, this combination reminds me a lot of the character of karn from the mahabharat now i want to give a disclaimer over here uh, after lord krishna karn is my one of the favorite character from the out of all the um, like jubilant characters from the uh, mahabharat but in the case of karn as well like the way uh, he wanted to get trained by the best of the teachers but because of his status he was not able to get the education or training from the best teacher and just in order to get that of his objective fulfilled he lied to his guru to the parshuram and he uh, got all the skills and he got all the training from him but just because he got the education on the uh, context of a lie so because of that he even got a curse from his guru that right at the time when you will be in the dire need of this skill which you have taken from me uh, via lying to me it will not come to any of your help or it will not come to any of your aid so this is a typical story or typical connection which can be attached with the conjunction of rahu and jupiter in a traditional way definitely guys we are not living in a day and age where all the qualities which uh, jupiter represents if you want to gain them if you want to excel them rahu which represents internet rahu which represents all sort of online tech industry so this combination if working out in a positive way it can give you success in all of your um, education academic professional uh, worldly goals and aspirations but when it comes down to being purely unconditionally devoting yourself to the cosmic powers towards the god towards the righteousness over there rahu can create maximum hurdle guys uh, again over here like i'm just uh, sharing my own personal life journey over here uh, in this video because i have already explained the kind of role which rahu plays in my life i still remember uh, before moving here my uh, father was in a um, government job and uh, i remember the area where we used to live so all the senior politicians and the bureaucrats and very wealthy people because i come from a very middle class family but uh, that area was being uh, uh, recited by all these prominent people and just because wherever i am living i need to have a park for my connection with nature to go for evening walks and there has to be a temple that is a part of my these are the two things which i um like unfailingly i need so i remember it's like there was this um there was this specific guy not everyone is like that definitely this specific guy so whenever he is doing the evening aarti and the minute he will see any of the like any judge who is coming to attend that evening aarti with his um, with his security and all or someone very important or some important politician he will uh, he will keep an eye around who is present to attend that aarti and uh basis the importance and stature of that person he will start increasing his pace and intensity to do that aarti of the gods just to get that attention so this is what influence of rahu and jupiter represents it can give you success in all other areas when we talk about purity when we talk about faith when we talk about righteousness that aspect is always in scrutiny that aspect is always under radar and guys i always say this thing it's like uh, jupiter is the only force in our life which needs to be guarded which needs to be protected jupiter right from the time we have taken birth and throughout the course of our life jupiter is very important jupiter's blessings is very important whether you are a student who has to get good education you have to get married to a right partner you have to get the happiness on the account of the parenthood having a good contented uh, old age so jupiter is, is responsible for all these areas of the life and it's the influence of rahu which can contaminate the good qualities of the jupiter why are misguiding you or putting you on the wrong path that is the only reason guys in today's modern day and age people have uh, tried to uh, give rahu a good rap but again um, if in our traditional books rahu has been uh, written or has been explained in a negative light so there is a 
strong reason for that and uh, like the way guys i was telling it to you about that even when we talk about like all those people who are always uh, trying to uh, please rahu for the fame so over here as well i want to talk about it see guys when we talk about anything to do with the fame because definitely i keep on um, doing consultations for uh, people who are very renowned in their specific businesses and industries and i have seen their charts so guys uh, understand this thing when we talk about anything to do with the fame or recognition over there the planets which plays a key role are sun saturn venus and rahu now understand the role which all these four planets play sun definitely is going to give you recognition is going to give you popularity where a lot many people will be envious of your status of your success of your connections so this is a kind of a success because um, it's around sun only where all the planets revolve so when sun um, is uh, has uh, risen in the morning so the whole world gets the light so in a way a rising sun is something or a rising star is something which gets attention of everyone now the fame which comes from the planet saturn over there there is a lot of respect is attached to it now just because the fame which comes from saturn that only comes when the universe has made you a conduit has made you a medium where because of your actions because of your efforts because of your karma your shram your uh, dedication and hard work people's lives have improved so the i would say that okay different people might have a different uh, definition of uh, fame of recognition but i would say that the true uh recognition or fame can be attached only to saturn because there is a attached respect over there you are and you will be the favorite of the masses now guys uh, the fame which comes from venus it has more to do with the glamour it has more to do with the magnetism around you now this could be like let's say for example if venus is placed in the scorpio in the 8th house in the 12th house in the 5th house so this uh there could be some uh, sexual allure around you some magnetic charm around you or charm of beauty of wealth of luxury this could be anything which will definitely attract attention in the society now the fame which comes from rahu it is always about a mystery it is always about a curiosity it is always very intriguing so like the way guys that is the only reason we say that in order for someone to get the best out of the energies of rahu so there has to be a proper substance backing it up because rahu can actually you know in a minute it can make you go viral suddenly the whole world is curious about you they do not even know who are you what have you done what are you up to but everyone is curious about you and that is the only reason that uh, all the politicians all the actors they encash on this curiosity in this hype and in lot many ways creating scandals to be in the picture to be in the news so this is a kind of definition of the fame which comes from different planets okay guys now um, we will now uh, dig deeper into this aspect of uh, the influence of rahu on jupiter so guys over here as well you have to understand this thing that these two planets belong to the different uh, camps like on one category you can place uh, like uh, jupiter sun moon or uh, mars you can even place uh, ketu over there as well and there's a another category of the planets where you will place saturn over there mercury over there venus over there and rahu over there so one thing which you have to understand that this is a combination which is taking place in a sign where jupiter is uh, favorable like definitely guys let it uh, let's say for example had this conjunction been taking place in the uh, gemini sign so not only gemini is a sign where um, like the lord of which is enemical to the planet jupiter second thing is that within the energies of gemini resides the nakshatra of rahu as well so without any doubt if this combination is taking place this conjunction is taking place in the sign where rahu is getting empowered it is definitely going to contaminate the good qualities or signification of the jupiter which could result in a way that uh, life will keep on giving you hope building up hope and right at the last minute all of your hopes is going to get shattered and definitely guys your own uh, mischiefs your own manipulation might backfired at a later end of the life like the way 
a lot many astrologers believe this thing that rahu can give you success but the end of rahu is always bad and the way uh, astrology uh, say that uh, saturn can give you all sort of frustration all sort of delays all sort of problems this could also be connected with ketu's problems ketu's transformation as well but the end of ketu end of saturn is always always good so yes guys so the point which I'm trying to make over here is that uh, these two planets belong to a different category, different uh, group. And uh, when we talk about Aries, so Aries is a sign which belongs to the good friend of the planet Jupiter. Like even within the Aries, if you will dig deep over there as well, the three nakshatras like Ash, uh, nakshatra of Ashwini, which uh, belongs to the Ketu, Bharani, which belongs to Venus, which might not be very strong um, placement for Jupiter. But and the last nakshatra is of Kritika, which is very much favorable. The Lord of Kritika is Sun, which is very good friends with Jupiter. So guys, over here, one thing which can be said with confidence is that Jupiter is definitely going to have a strong edge or a strong say in this sign. Definitely, guys, there are certain signs when we talk about where this combination holds uh, this potential to manifest good results. Uh, like... Uh, the way people say that Aquarius is a very neutral sign where no planet gets exalted, no planet uh, gets debilitated, whether it's the 11th house or the Aquarius sign, this sign can actually give good functioning grounds to majority of the planets. But again, the concern over here is that in the Aquarius, uh, Rahu becomes exceptionally strong, which is definitely going to overpower the good qualities of the Jupiter. But when we talk about from the point of view of the Aries and this whole combination taking place of Jupiter and Rahu in the Aries, it holds this key to manifest some very good results. So, okay, guys, now uh, when we talk about before I will uh, conclude this video. So the main objective of this video was that how you can get the best out of this combination which is taking place because guys uh, whenever something big is meant to happen over there the slow moving planets has to promise that event and like the way as you can see that the whole vibration of the uh, uh, year like 2023 if you will make a sum total of that that will give you the number seven a number being ruled by the ketu and over and above that if this whole combination is taking place in the aries we cannot overlook this fact that Rahu gives results akin or equivalent to Saturn only. Rahu also has got a co-rulership of the Aquarius sign only and where Saturn is very well placed and it is also giving its third aspect. So that in itself means now I will come to the crux. So all of the signification of Jupiter uh, which I will explain uh, you have to blend it at least till October uh, with the qualities of the Rahu like I would say that all the good luck all the fortune which you might be expecting um, you have to make Rahu as a carrier to provide you that you cannot just only uh, take Jupiter into your uh, focus and you cannot even give uh, like or let's say for example giving whole attention only to Rahu you have to blend them and the blending can only be uh, taking place like let's say for example if uh, Jupiter has to do with the education if it has to do with any sort of qualifications anything to do with the uh, skills or something so if during this time you have this opportunity you are in that stage that you have to make a final call for uh, finalizing a college for you so it might be much better for you to do it or take admission in a city which is uh, like kind of uh, away from your birthplace or if during this time you will enroll for a course which is in a foreign land that might be very well suited for you second thing is that guys when we talk about anything to do with the online anything to do with the technology so uh, blending that whether in your business whether in your offering all of that will become very important during this time third thing is that guys also when we talk about because uh, Jupiter also represents uh, finances as well so this combination taking place over here so I would say that rather than operating on a very traditional way how well equipped you are to uh, the recent trends in the uh, financial market now this could be in your investment portfolio in your financial investments or this could be uh, being more open and welcoming towards like this could be cryptocurrencies this could be different form of uh, investments 
uh, provision so be very open be very welcoming towards that as well apart from that guys um, like uh, because uh, jupiter has also to do with the family planning it has also to do with the uh, progeny so regarding that as well like for all those people who have been facing any delays in this area like a lot many couples whom i have consulted they are going for ivf treatment and all so because this combination is taking place initially for a good span of time in the ashwini nakshatra and ashwini is considered as very good for any of the concerns of health uh, healing or childbirth related concerns fertility related issues as well so this could be a very good time for that for prioritizing all of these treatments and apart from that guys um, because uh, jupiter also represents uh, our um, all the divine wisdom so uh, when we talk about uh, uh, the preaching or wisdom or having a guru in your life a blessing or grace of the guru in your life so during this time guys i would say that if for long like just because i am very much sure with my accent and with my the way i offer it so i'm sure that a lot many people from west they might be also watching the this video and they have strong interest in uh, astrology as well and when i uh, do the consultation for um, like people they a lot of them are very much curious about you know it's like we have uh, you know dedicated a major portion of our time our priorities our energies uh, towards learning vedic astrology towards learning about the hinduism about the hindu gods and for long i have been planning to travel to india i have been planning to you know do the darshan of these pilgrimage sites and all so this could be a very good time for that so like uh, if that thing is in the back of your mind in the transit in your ongoing dashas it is getting uh, promised so i would say that uh, taking those pilgrimages because guys again uh, rahu jupiter uh, faith is more uh, indicative of people who are born in different religion but with the passage of time they explore and they find a uh, kind of harmony in different religion in different countries in different gurus so this could be a very good time for empowering that aspect of your life as well because rahu's influence on jupiter and again guys with that said with this disclaimer that jupiter is not getting completely uh, weak or powerless to manifest results it's just like that all the jupiter qualities are still going to be intact rather jupiter is going to be controlling major portion of the energies or qualities of rahu but how you make rahu as a carrier so i would say that planning those pilgrimages during this time could be very much harmonious for you so rather than who, someone who is a very um, traditional very orthodox uh, hindu pandit or brahman so more than that if you are a westerner with your interest in hinduism so taking a pilgrimage with this influence of rahu and jupiter might much more be um, like kind of insightful might be more elevating for you so this is one aspect of understanding the energy of rahu and jupiter and apart from that guys um, one thing which i want to say over here is that uh, aggression and uh, manifestation of energy is something which you have to keep uh, in check and third thing is that guys whenever rahu and jupiter conjunction take place a lot many times rahu misguides or rahu kind of tricks uh, people in um, taking that shortcut or um, like the way we use this term gambler's luck trying your luck in wrong places in wrong intensity or in wrong capacity so be realistic be practical be uh, aware of your strength be aware of your situation and then take calculative risk that is the only one thing which i want to say or that is the last thing which i want to add over here but again guys be assured this is a very good energy where jupiter is not getting as afflicted as the kind of hype which has been built on social media and one last thing is that guys because rahu also represents uh, obsession rahu also represents overthinking like in a way like a contaminated rahu is something where you will find a very kind of uh, des a uh, pickable kind of very uh, very shrewd uh, kind of thought process of someone so overthinking is something you have to work on that because rahu is an amplifier jupiter can also expand things so you do not want your fears your demons or your problems to be amplified only within your own head rather than uh, in reality so yes guys uh, these are some of the few things or few of the dots which i wanted to connect uh, before we will actually uh, witness and experience this uh, very uh, major uh, significant transit of the year 
and for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad